Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'll teach you how to make this simulation in Blender using the new default smoke in Blender called Manta Flow. As always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by adding the smoke. So go to Object, Quick Effects and then Quick Smoke. And then we need to scale up the domain, which is the border of the simulation, so press S to scale. And then G, then set to grab the domain on the z-axis. Next, we need to go into the physics settings for the domain. And uh, let's enable adaptive domain, which uh, saves us baking time. And then increase the length of the simulation. So I'll set the end frame to 250. And then let's do a test bake before we do the final bake. And as you can see, everything works fine. So now I'm going to bake it at a higher resolution. So uh, let's free the uh, data. Now when it comes to the uh, resolution, the uh, higher resolution you set, the better it's going to look, but it's also going to take longer to bake. So I recommend for a normal computer to set it around 200, but I have a pretty strong computer, so I'm going to set the resolution to 350. And after a few hours of baking, I have this uh, smoke simulation. And this is going to look a lot better in uh, rendered view than in the viewport, obviously. So uh, let's uh, save before we continue. So just give it a name and save it wherever you want on the computer. And uh, then it's time to set up the lighting and so on. So uh, let's change the render engine to cycles first. And uh, let's set the number of samples to 50 which is enough for smoke simulations. And uh, then select the uh, light. And I'm going to turn this into a sun and set the strength to around uh, three. And then let's go into rendered view to see what it looks like. And I'm also going to uh, set the background color to uh, a uh, darker color. So, uh, something like this. And uh, then we can select the uh, domain and go into the uh, shader editor and edit the smoke. So in the principal volume, you can edit the density of the smoke, which is the thickness of the smoke. And you can also change the color of the smoke. So you can make it uh, brighter, you can also give it different colors. And you can even animate it if you press I on the color. Okay, so uh, now we can go back to solid view. And then press number at zero to look through the camera. And then press N. And then I go into view and lock the camera to view. And as you can see, the range of the camera is uh, not long enough. So I'm going to uh, go into the camera settings after you have selected the camera and increase the end value to increase the range of the camera. And uh, that's what it looks like in rendered view. We can also hide the overlay. And uh, let's select the uh, light and rotate the light a bit. And then press R twice to rotate the sun freely. And I'm going to set it around here. And uh, if you try to hide the uh, cube, it doesn't really hide anything because the cube is an inflow object. So I'm just going to leave them visible. Okay, so I'm going to set it around here. And in the final animation, I just uh, moved the cube below the frame of the camera. I'm going to use the GPU. If you only have a CPU, you can just leave the tile size at 64. But if you have a GPU, you can set it to 512, which um, decreases the render time. I also recommend turning on denoising. And then let's go into the uh, output settings. 
and let's start off by setting the frame rate to 30 fps which i think looks nicer and i'll set the resolution to 4k you can just leave it at 100 percent if you want 1080p and then select a folder for the final animation i recommend creating a new folder and then render the images out as uh, pngs and then convert them to an mp4 file later and i'll set the compression to 80 percent for these uh, pngs If you do not know how to convert uh, PNGs to uh, MP4, I have a uh, very quick tutorial on that on my channel. So it's very simple. Okay, so let's save before we start the uh, render. So go to File, Save As, and I'm just going to click on the plus sign and Save. And then let's do a test render. So go to Render, and then Render Image. And after a, uh, about a minute, I have the uh, image. And I think this looks okay. So uh, now I'm going to do the final render for the animation. So uh, let's save one more time. And then go to render. And then render animation. And that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. And more tutorials coming soon.